didn't wear green for the occasion, but in case you're like me and forgot to wear green, here's a fun green makeup that you can do for your night out on the town for St. Patrick's Day. So you don't get pinched and you look good. Step one, I'm gonna take some Makeup Forever HD foundation and squirt it onto my hand palette like a professional would. Um, I'm gonna put it on her face. That's what you do, like a professional would. Like a professional would, yes, thank you. Stop stepping on my lines. Um, put your lips inside your face. <laughs> That's a good thing that I knew what you meant. I know you did it, which I really appreciate. Now I'm going to take some matte. Pro Longwear Concealer in probably super pale, because that's my color. Is that that's color? my favorite. Oh my gosh. Just gonna use this same brush and we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, great. Oh, do that. You're already so good at this. So good. Gonna do some concealing. Okay, I'm gonna need you to trust me. Look up. Keep your eye open. Look at this beautiful friend trust we're having. We're having a moment. And it's calling camera. I'm not gonna pretend like I am sober. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day! I feel so much better! I am actually sober. I'm just also drinking. Okay, now that all that's done, I'm gonna take this Me Vein in Champagne powder. Wow. Powder from Benefit. That's how I describe myself. Me Vein <laughs> Champagne powder. And just kind of set all that stiff. So it doesn't squidge around on her face. <laughs> Go in. Emily has a problem with squidgy face. And now, what? It's primer. All right, eyeshadow, primer. You use this so that eyeshadow sticks to your eyes, Emily. Oh, good, great. Oh, that's what it's for. Oh, you spit on me a lot just then. <laughs> now, she's all ready for eyeshadow. Yay. Yay. And we're gonna be doing a kind of crazy lip, so I'm going to keep the eye makeup pretty simple on this one. I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals Cultured Pearl. That's also how I describe myself. Sort of like white with a little bit of pink undertones, really shimmery, kind of iridescent, but pretty simple. And I'm just gonna sweep that across her entire eye area. St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. We're gonna drive all the- The St. Patrick. Let's, okay, Green. while I do this, Emily's gonna tell us a little bit about <laughs> no. the history of St. Patrick's Day. Uh-huh. Uh, uh St. Patrick was a saint. Mm-hmm. Back in ye olden times. Which olden times? The olden times. Oh, yeah, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite, too. Uh, he had snakes for pets. Mm-hmm. And he used to drink their venom and... We're also gonna put this underneath her eye here. And, you know, we don't really drink snake venom anymore. So now we just drink anything to remember St. Patrick. Well, there you have it, kids. The history of St. Patrick's Day. With our powers combined, we know nothing about St. Patrick's Day. Green. Drinking. <laughs> Green and drinking. Now I'm gonna take this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm gonna put that just, just on the inner corner of her eye here. We're gonna do a little, little pot of gold on the inner corner of her eye, because Leprechauns and St. Patrick's Day. Leprechauns. <laughs> I don't forgot know how that we part didn't mention that. <laughs> now I'm going to take this yellow. It's called yellow. And I was gonna dab that right over where we put that jumbo pencil. I don't wanna spread it out too much, just like a little concentrated sunny spot. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this sort of limey green here and look up. I'm just gonna put that out on the outer half underneath her eye here. All right, and I wanna make sure that that doesn't just sort of end all harsh, so I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with a clean brush. With sort of the rest of this brush, don't, don't <laughs> listen to her. And that is basically it for the eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with some black eyeliner. This is a Sephora liquid liner pen that's super, super fine tip, uh, just so that it's a little bit dramatic. I'm gonna do just a thin line and we're gonna wing it out a little bit. Should be noted that I am bad at doing this to people. Prepare your body. That looks so good. Thank you. 
Yeah, that was for me. You believe. So when I was doing the green under here, I brought it out a little bit. Maybe like, what is that, a quarter of an inch or something? Roughly. So when <laughs> so when I was doing the wing, I want it to go on top of that. Just a little, just a little wing, nothing crazy. And sometimes you mess up and you just fix it with your hand. <laughs> like a professional, yeah. Those look even. Those look even. As far as I can tell, they're the most even they've ever been. Yeah. This is gonna be scary, but just deal with it. All right, I'm gonna do this again, all right? And I need you to not blink for one second, two seconds. I've never wanted to blink more. We're gonna use some Benefit They're Real Mascara, cause it's my favorite thing right now. Yeah, yeah, good, look up. Keep doing what you're doing. Make sure you get a big clump of mascara right in the middle. <laughs> I'm doing a really good job. <laughs> I got several. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of Clinique cheek pop. I mean, pop your cheeks. All right. It's this really cute kind of peachy pink that I got the other day. I'm really excited. So glad you are making this happen. Now for the funnest part in Fun Town. Welcome to Fun Town, population us. All right, I'm gonna take this lip balm. It's Jack Black made it, but like the makeup one, not the- <laughs> Fun town! Not the comedic actor. <laughs> Don't trust products made by that Jack Black. Uh, and this is just like a clear, really hydrating balm that's gonna give the color something to stick to. Now that her lips have a nice layer of hydrating balm, we're gonna go in with this, I got this crazy neon green pigment from Mio makeup? Mio makeup? I don't know. I don't even know. I just found it online and it's- It's, it's Mio makeup. Is it? Mm -hmm. You don't know. I Not believed you for a second. <laughs> That's okay. my theater degree. Yeah, wow. Everybody, <laughs> round of applause for Emily. And I'm gonna go in with this stuff. Look at it. What? You take this green pigment, and it's just a loose pigment, so it can be mixed into whatever you want. So we're gonna use it basically as lip gloss, and I'm just gonna paint it right onto that gloss. And really make sure it's kind of sticking in there. Pro tip, you can also, uh, <laughs> you can also put some of the gloss like in onto a little palette or something and mix the pigment in there and then do this, but not if you like a challenge. Yes, it's so green. It's so green. And then you're like, ah, this brush isn't really working as well as I want it to. And then you just use your hands. Now her lips are so green. But they're just one color of green, and that's not as exciting as if they were more than one color of green. Wouldn't you agree, everybody? <laughs> yes, yes, said a chorus that was my of no tooth one. If you're wondering. Oh yeah, I touched it, I know. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go in with this green. It's like a dark, kind of shimmery green. <laughs> From Sephora. A darker green. A darker green. I'm gonna put that on the outer corners of her lips. Still just gonna use my finger, and then I'll just use the brush to blend it. I don't know if you look nervous right now or if that's just your face, but I love this. I'm excited. Don't be nervous. <gasps> look how crazy and green it is! No one's gonna be pinching her because she's so green. Speaking of. But this is... Not green. Almost. And there you have it! A St. Patrick's Day look for the Irish in all of us. It'll also trick people into thinking you know a lot about St. Patrick and the history of St. Patrick's Day. Which we prove we do so, so well. If you liked this look, please let us know in the comments. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. And let us know if there's anything else you want to see in the future. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs>